of the name of Jesus. Every knee shall bow, every tongue confessing, King of glory Response, 
Miles, retail of your justice, O Lord. Gospel acclamation. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Happy those who are persecuted in the cause of right. This is the kingdom of heaven. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. The Lord is with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Saint Mark. Glory to you, Lord. Herod had sent to have John arrested and had him chained up in prison because of Herodias, his brother Philip's wife, whom he had married. For John had told Herod, it is against the law for you to have your brother's wife. As for Herodias, she was furious with John and wanted to kill him, but she was not able to because Herod was afraid of John, knowing him to be a good and holy man and gave him his protection. When he heard him speak, he was greatly perplexed, and yet he liked to listen to him. An opportunity came on Herod's birthday when he gave a banquet for the nobles of his court, for his army officers and for the leading figures in Galilee. When the daughter of this same Herodias came in and danced, she delighted Herod and his guests. So the king said to the girl, Ask me anything you like, and I will give it to you. And he swore her an oath, I will give you anything you ask, even half my kingdom. She went out and said to her mother, What shall I ask for? She replied, The head of John the Baptist. The girl hurried straight back to the king and made her request. I want you to give me John the Baptist's head here and now on a dish. The king was deeply distressed. But thinking of the oaths that he had sworn and of his guests, he was reluctant to break his word to her. So the king at once sent one of the bodyguards with the orders to bring John's head on a dish and give it to the girl. And the girl gave it to her mother. When John's disciples heard about this, they came and took his body and laid it in a tomb. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear friends, very few saints have two or more feasts in the liturgical calendar of the year. St. John is one of those exceptions. His birthday, 24th June, we celebrate, and his death or martyrdom or passion celebrated today, 29th of August. You notice at the end of today's gospel, I'm reading it to you again. When John's disciples heard about this, that John had been beheaded, they came and took his body and laid it in a tomb. Reminds you of something? Good Friday. And they came and laid Jesus in the tomb. The similarity cannot be missed. Who is John? J. Who is Jesus? J. Both cousins. And in a sense, the death of John prefigures the death of Jesus. Same reason. For justice, honesty, and for the values of the kingdom. So they were good cousins. They rubbed off on each other. One learned from the other, and both glorified God, our Heavenly Father. The story of John, so detailed given the way of his martyrdom, is one of the rare occurrences in the New Testament. He's a prophet par excellence, the bridge between the Old and the New Testament. Remember a few days ago I said 
that before the birth of Jesus, for 450 years, there were no prophets in Israel. That is why the whole kingdom of Israel had dispersed. And yet a remnant comes from the house of Judah, house of David. And from there springs Jesus. And to announce this spring of Jesus comes before him John, the prophet who bridges the Old Testament and the New and announces the Messiah, preparing the way of the Lord, he says. And within a short time, he is gone. What was John's value that time and today? He was, as Jesus says, not a reed that would sway in the water. He was a rock, solid oak, or whatever you want to call it, a tree that stood against corruption, against wrong, against the deviousness of Herod and others, Pharisees and scribes, and he called people to repentance. This is an interesting detail in today's gospel. We see that Herod was afraid of John. You know, when there is truth, you are afraid of truth. You will not be afraid of the person, but what that person stands for judges you. So Herod was afraid of John because he believed him to be a good man and he liked to listen to him. He heard him and he liked to listen to him. The sad part is that while Herod heard John, he did not actually listen to him. You know the difference, no? Between hearing and listening. We are hearing so many sounds, but we hear and listen to one hi and you say hey, that is Austin calling and you say hi the whole train you are listening or you are hearing me say so many things singing preaching reading but you are listening to what you want to listen and that listening determines the quality of our life our learning and our living when we listen to God, our life begins to change. When we listen to God, we learn new things. And when we listen to God, we live a new way of being. And John was only asking Herod and all the listeners of his time only for that. Listen, learn, live. He died doing this. Jesus will die doing that. So what are the lessons that we learn? That we will be put to the test if we are righteous, if we believe in God and we hold on to the truth. The political killings that we see, judges, politicians, critics, the good man who is killed, Naboth, the husband of Uriah, the husband of Bathsheba, killed because of greed, killed because of corruption, whether it is a David, whether it is a Herod. In all of us, there is that evil streak. But which one comes to the fore, the evil or the holy, is determined by the way we listen, we learn, and we live our life in God's kingdom. Let us pray for the suffering of this great man and his martyrdom, that the good that came out for the church and for the church in the time of Jesus and after that will rub itself off on us and make us ardent disciples of Jesus. To be the body of Christ in this world is difficult. And to even die for it is more difficult. But when we lie and live away from that death and sacrifice, there is new life. Amen. We shall sing the chorus of Take My Life, O Lord. Take my life, O Lord, and never let it stay. Consecrated to your care. Take my life. And give me
Praise the sisters and brothers that this our sacrifice may be an acceptable gift to God the Father Almighty. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name for our good and good all of his holy church. Through these offerings which we bring to you, Lord, grant that we may make straight your path as taught by the voice crying in the desert, St. John the Baptist, who powerfully sealed his teaching by the shedding of his blood. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord is with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. In his precursor, St. John the Baptist, we praise your great glory. For you consecrated him for a singular honor among those born of women. His birth brought great rejoicing even in the womb he left for joy at the coming of human salvation. He alone of all the prophets pointed out the Lamb of Redemption. And to make holy the flowing waters, he baptized the very author of baptism and was privileged to bear him supreme witness by the shedding of his blood. And so with the powers of heaven, we worship you constantly on earth, and before your majesty, without end, we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven, heaven, and earth are
the mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of Jesus' death and resurrection, we offer you, Father, this life-giving bread, the saving cup. We thank you for coming as worthy to stand in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Oswald, our Bishop, and all the religious, the clergy, and those who are consecrated. Remember those for whom this Mass is offered and all our special intentions. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, the Blessed Apostles, St. John the Baptist, and our patron saints, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, may we praise you in union with them and give you glory through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. That we may listen, that we may learn, and that we may live according to Jesus' teaching. We pray, Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy, thy name. name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, thy, thy will be done, done on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and, and forgive us our trespasses, as, as we forgive, forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into, into temptation, but deliver us from all evil. evil. Lord, deliver us, we pray, from every evil and graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be free from sin, safe from anxiety, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power and glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I give you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant us peace and unity in accordance to your will. Who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sin of the world. Happy are we called to share the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Let us pray. Grant, O Lord, as we celebrate the heavenly birth of St. John the Baptist, that we may revere for what it signifies the saving sacrament we have received, and even more may rejoice at its clear effects in our life through Christ our Lord. Amen. Tomorrow onwards we begin the novena in preparation for Mama Mary's birthday, our famous Mount Mary feast the Nativity of Our Lady. We will have Mass as usual every morning, 9 o'clock. And during the Mass, we will pray the Novena Prayer and we will keep up the theme, which is this year, Mary, Queen of Creation. And each day there will be a little topic to express what part of creation and our commitment to save that creation. So, we are requesting a catechist to come and help us to read the introduction, the prayer of the faithful, and the reading, and that will be your connect with uh, our parish, our service, and our children, and all of you at home. We will also have offerings on each day, which you can bring and give at the parish office, or in front of our school office through the day when the office is closed. This will be distributed to the SVP to needy people. We know that you are generous, and more than that generosity, that we love Mama Mary so much and we want to give her the best, our ears, so that we listen, we learn and we live. The Lord is with you and with your spirit. May God Almighty bless you, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Happy feast to all of you. Same to you, Father. Put on the armor of Jesus Christ, build up your strength in the Lord, guard yourself with his truth, carry faith as a shield, the good news a sword in your hand, let your life be good and your lamps a light, waiting for the day when the Master comes. May he find you watching when he returns. He'll come like the thief in the night. Put on the armor of Jesus Christ. Build up your strength in the Lord. Guard yourself with his truth. Carry faith as a shield. The good news.